previous session we have implemented pre-filter in this session we shall implement post filter so unlike global filter and pre-filter post filter will intercept response so basically it intercept the response what backend service is sending through the API gateway. So let's create quickly create our post filter. So retail bank post filter. And we need to extend the same thing abstract gateway filter. So I copied it from pre filter change this config class of post filters and obviously i need to do the same thing so it is same as pre-filter only thing some changes we need to make and we need to intercept the response so whatever is similar i'm copying it from pre-filter and we write a constructor public post filter and then super config.class so that's the common structures you just remember the structures that's it and we implement the method this is the apply method that's it Let me write few log here. So as usual, I need to give at the rate component and log for J. Log for J. Come here instead of this. Let me make it post filter. And now here is a trick. Instead of request we need to intercept response because it's a post filter so we give return and it is saying exchange chain and here what we do instead of so there is some change i just made some mistake so i am just giving chain dot filter dot exchange dot that in this mono and we can give from runnable mono dot from runnable. So the syntax is exchange and chain. We are taking this function, and from this we are filtering. We are making mono dot runnable. So don't for, uh, bother about mono runnable from runnable and all these things. What it is? I, I shall cover those things in a separate session. So no worries on that. Now from here we can get all the headers and we can print it here so let's do that part we like write a log intercepted the set retail bank account response and And within this, what we'll do, we shall take exchange dot get response and assign this response into a variable. I am using Java element, so I am just using var response. Otherwise, if you are using Java 1.8 and all, you can give subnet response response, something like that. But that uh, basically you need to explicitly give the data type. Uh, you can do it in Java element also, but I prefer to use var. And down the line, I shall use var only. So just keep it like that. And then we need to 
get the headers so let's get it response dot get headers and again i'm just taking these things uh, the headers and i can look through this header and i can write this uh, all value of all the headers so let's just do that one headers dot for each key value and key is i think i made some mistake that's why it is not a, like the key let me check it let me complete this log and value is key and value That's it. I think I made some problem with the braces and all this thing. And here I keep one info log dot info response status code is. And let me take a response status code also HTTP status whatever it is. Just keep response dot get status. get status code we shall change our uh, backend application to send a value status code but let me check what the issue here why key and value is not recognizing okay i missed one bracket so that's the thing it's a very silly thing i did so that's it that's i think that's uh, that's all and there is some unused import i show you how we can remove this unused import uh, or how what IntelliJ settings change you can make to add, uh, optimize your import on the fly and remove unused import on the fly. So just go to import, auto import, apply and OK. See my imports are gone. And yeah, so that's it. Now one more thing we need to do. We need to go to our application.yml and there for the retail bank account route we need to add this filter retail bank post filter so that's it we are done from our api gateway side to implement the post filter so let's build it once again it's done let me run it yes our post filter is working perfectly so let's go to our application retail bank account application and let's return a status code I just copy it from the other endpoint. Uh, paste it and this should copy this one in the body. That will go and instead of the return type, instead of string, it should be response entity string. response and today string so that's it that's from our side now what we can do we just build our backend application also that is target service when i'm telling backend application that means it's a target service or the retail bank application so it's build success and let me run it let me clear the logs as well as let me go to the api gateway and let me clear this log also here and 
hit the CORL. Uh, circuit breaker will take time, so some time to reflect because let's do it. Yes, it works. Circuit gateway is enabled now. Now uh, let me take it again. Clear it. Me clear it is coming but let me clear it again and just hit so basically you just note I am going through the API gateway so a222 put down that one so you can see this one retail bank global filter pre filter is working that we see earlier now post filter but post filter is a response we are interested in the response so this log we will get it in the API gateway. So let's go to the API gateway and you can see this one intercepted retail bank API response, content type, everything, status code, everything we found. So that's it. This is how we can implement our post filters. And with this, we covered all the three filters, global filter, pre filter and post filter for Spring Cloud API gateway and that completes this filter part of the microservice application so if if this video helps you if you are benefited for this from this video please like share and subscribe that will encourage us to produce more such videos thank you and see you in the next sessions